Uh, boy. Um, the sh- probably the game of the weekend was the Dolphins and the Chargers. The Dolphins beat the Chargers thirty six to thirty four. Two a tongue of a low, bro. When I did my divisional breakdown and I said that the a- AFC North was the best division of football, very close second to me is the AFC East. And of course, going into the season, I thought that, of course, the Jets were probably going to win the AFC East. I think it was honestly between the Jets and the Bills. But I will say this. Tua Tagovailoa on Sunday threw for 466 466 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Tyreek Hill caught 11 receptions for 215 yards. It doesn't matter what a defense throws at you. When you have Tua playing that well, when you have Tyreek Hill, who is virtually unguardable, and you have and, and, and you have a team with this much firepower, Raheem Morsa, 10, rece- 10 carries for 37 yards, a touchdown. The The... The Dolphins not only have a shot of winning the AFC East, and that is a good shot. Like, if we're talking today, right now, I would say that the Dolphins are probably the best team and the best pick to win the AFC East. But this team is good enough to compete for a Super Bowl. When you have a quarterback as dialed in and locked in, with a receiver as he is with Tyree Kill, it kind of gives you the same thing of, now I'm not saying that two is on the same level, of course, but, you know, Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill or, you know, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. When you have a quarterback that locked in with a receiver, it's hard to beat. And... You also have Jalen Waddle, four receptions for 78 yards. This team is great. This is a really good team. The the Dolphins, let me say, and not to mention, Jalen Ramsey, didn't he? He's not here yet. So this team is going to be even better. This team, this Dolphins team has a shot. If everything works out the way that it, it, or if they continue to play like this, they have a shot to win the Super Bowl. Or at least compete to go to a Super Bowl. I will say that. Because, again, your quarterback, the, the quarterback that a lot of people think that can't throw the ball downfield threw for 466 yards. And on the other side of the ball... This is yet another game where Brandon Staley and the Chargers don't get it done. That's starting to be their rap. And it's not just Brandon Staley. It's also Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert threw for 228 yards, one touchdown. Austin Eckler, 16 carries for 117 yards. Joshua Kelly, 16 carries for 91 yards. Didn't matter. Keenan Allen, I know uh, Mike Williams went out again and he continued to get hurt. Keenan Allen had six receptions for 76 yards. J.C. Jack, J.C. Jackson had an interception, but he had a bonehead penalty that ultimately pretty much cost him the game. This is yet another game that Brandon Staley and this Chargers team did not come up with, that they should have. And this is starting to become a a pattern with Brandon Staley and Justin Herbert. Like these games, it I understand that you're you're going up against a team that has a quarterback that's throwing 400 plus yards, but this is also a a, a team that has Derwin James, that has a Bosa, you know, uh, Joey Bosa, that has a uh, Khalil Mack, Asante Samuel Jr. and 
you come up short. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.